hi guys welcome to another tutorial where we will be looking into possibly this is the tenth tutorial you can say and we are looking into how to display the recent text in our here the placeholder message that you are looking at how to display uh, a message here that was sent to the user so right now is hello sam is the rest recent message that was received and i want this to be displayed here so instead of message so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the i'm going to go to the user adopter since we are using user layout here so I'll go to the user adopter and we'll take one string string the last message and also before that or after that uh, we will go to layout of users where we had created online and offline image views and actually set the visibility of this to gone or maybe let's just Okay, we'll see what to do with this but anyways yeah so this is the text view that we have taken and this name is user username okay last message that's the ID and I'll go to the user adopter and quickly cast this view last message and last message item view before learning any of this i should suggest that you should learn a lot about array lists and uh, and recycler views list views because once you learn recycler view it's really powerful i used to think that i would never be able to learn recycler view but it's very easy and handy okay this is what i have done and i have taken one string here already and i'm going to create a helper method private void last message where I'm going to pass the friend ID and text view last message so here what I'll do is the last message is equal to default and the next is we will take a reference database reference reference firebase database get reference since I'm accessing the chats because I want to know what message was sent in the chats so I will refer that we'll add value event listener and uh, we will yeah we will create a loop for data snapshot ds snapshot get children and chats chats ds dot get value chats dot class and here we will also make sure if uh, if we we can take one firebase user here firebase user if firebase user dot get uid is not null and the biggest learning curve in this app for me was and even the last tutorial when I was fixing the online and offline uh, that whenever you are reading from database 
you should uh, not use uh, you, you should only use value event listener in that case and once you are adding it then there is no need for it so yeah here what we will do is we have created a helper method for our last message to be displayed and here what I'll do is Firebase user is equal to Firebase auth get instance get current user if Firebase user is not null and chats is not null means there are there is data available to be displayed then if chats get sender equals friend id and chats get receiver equals firebase dot means your own id and vice versa just copy paste it uh, yeah here firebase user dot get uid and here friend id then we want the last message is equals to chats dot get message and here we will come to apply a switch loop sorry switch case the last message in case if it's default which we have set up already here then last message dot set tax has to be no message and default case is we will also add break here sorry default case is last message dot set text the last message and lastly the last message is equal to default and the last step would be going to the bind view and taking another if is chat and here last message and what we need here is the friend id because this was the parameter that we had passed so our friend id we can get from here it's simpler this user is storing all the friend ids user dot get id and holder dot last message and uh, yeah else last message holder dot last message set text or set visibility gone so I think we are done here and I will run the app because when there is no text then we don't want any uh, view to be available and I would like to think that this this will work so we will find out soon
I will send message from my second device and it should probably show online yeah so I had sent hello Sam and I'll see here hi came here it says hi here so whatever the I'm sending one more message whatever the new message is it will be shown here great so this is working and thanks for watching this video guys and what we will do is now in the next tutorials that will follow we will work on our profile activity and also we will work on images and so on yeah and lastly we will maybe try to learn how can we how can we implement here the the delivered or seen if the message is seen or not so that's it from this video i'll see you in the next one thank you